We are going to cost out our recipe for pasta carbonara. If you don't know how to create a recipe, be sure to watch our video on creating a recipe. To get the cost of a recipe, we should start with any sub recipes. In the case of our pasta carbonara, we are going to start with the sub recipe for pasta dough. First, visit the cost tab and click edit. You can edit the cost of each ingredient in the recipe using the pencil icon to the right of the ingredient name. When you click the pencil, you will be asked to add a purchase cost and a purchase unit of measure for that ingredient. The purchase cost is the price you paid. This should be a number. The purchase unit is how much you received for that price. Let's think of this as a pack size or case size. If your price is by the pound, then you just type pound in that unit field. If your price is by the 50 pound case, then you just type 50 pounds in that unit field. As you add your ingredient cost, your total recipe cost will update as well. If you've given your recipe a total yield, you'll also see the recipe's cost per yield, which is the recipe cost per unit of yield. For example, if you gave your recipe a total yield in quarts, the field will show the recipe cost per quart. In this case, since the pasta dough recipe has a yield in servings, the per yield cost is shown per serving. Let's move on to our carbonara recipe to calculate the cost of the final dish. You'll see that some of the ingredients on the cost tab for carbonara recipe already have costs filled out. This is because the ingredients costs are applied everywhere that ingredient is used in your account. Once you add cost to an ingredient, Mies will pull that cost into any recipe that calls for it. We'll add cost to the rest of the ingredients the same way we did for the pasta dough. If you have ingredients that are not measured and do not need to be a part of the recipe cost, you can use the unit as needed or to taste in your recipe. It's important to note ingredients with these units will not be included in cost calculations for that recipe. Once you are satisfied with the recipe cost calculation, you can scroll down to the food cost calculator near the bottom of the page. This tool makes it easy to find your ideal food cost percentage, menu price, and profit margin for any recipe. Just enter a portion size and one other value, such as sell price, and the other values will calculate automatically. You can adjust the values in the food cost calculator or adjust your recipe to see the calculations update immediately. You now have the skills needed to add ingredient cost and use the food cost calculator to get the most accurate recipe cost you have ever seen. Happy costing!